this is a recording of uh, what happened uh, and what's going to happen. As you can see, I'm slowly reading. Now, this is the details here of it. An elderly Victorian man was will be brought to Tasmania to face count court on 26 crime charges dating back in the in the 1970s. Lloyd Arthur Arthur Master, 82, of Salisbury, is alleged to have sexually assaulted 12 young teenagers while working at the Kenley, Kenley Boys' Home. The alleged offences span the 1970s and the 1980s at four Kenley Children's Homes in Claremont and in Chigwell. The facility cared for children from broken homes or who have been orphaned. The charge, charges follow and Judges follows uh, an eight-year investigation uh, investigation by the Glenorchy Criminal Investigation Branch. Mr. Masters, who is believed to suffer ill health, has been summoned to appear in, in Hobart Magistrate Courts on December the 9th. He places seven counts of maintaining a sexual relationship with a person under the age of 17, two counts of committing an indecent act directed at a young person, one count of having sexual intercourse uh, with a person under the age of 17, and 10 counts of indecent assault. Detectives travelled to Victoria to interview Mr Masters before laying charges. One alleged victim who can, cannot, who came forward to police eight years ago said he was relieved when he heard charges had been laid. The man who cannot be named for legal reasons was at the Kenley, Kenley Home for Children uh, in, on Cadbury Road, Claremont when he was allegedly abused by Mr Masters. Mr Masters was a senior staff member. The Kenley Boys Home was an approved children's home run by a committee bo community board of management. It is now called the Ch Kenley Children's Home. By the way, my apologies for my voice. But this is the actual document uh, that has evolved in three copies. Um, he's 82 years old, his name is Lloyd Masters, he's, uh, he's uh, employed as a senior administrator for the home. Uh, here you can see uh, the seven counts of maintaining a sexual relationship with a young person under the age of 17, also two counts of committing an indecent act directed at the young person under the age of 17, also, one count of sexual intercourse to a young person under the age of 17, and 10 counts of indecent assault. I've also included in the document, which I'll read to you, about showing that over many years, this man thought that he, bear, he would, could, and had the wages that he would give to his last victim that were under which was given to him by the Department of Community Welfare. Uh, but it, is, it has not been dealt with as, 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 at this stage. Uh, and he may not be extradited from this lawyer uh, as it is understood that he is claiming health issues, which may mean that he will not appear in the in Tasmania in person to take these charges. Lord Masters was employed by the, by the welfare uh, department and as such has been in total control of 
here and what they are weak and easy to hide. That's the place of the new killing time. At all. At all four homes, two in Kuja and two in Hanson. Um, there were other house homes there, but they were all under Mark Smith's home run. Uh, and one of these victims from Google's sexual abuse eventually had suffered post traumatic stress syndrome. Any boys at this home, the boys, are sexually cannot, cannot help, they cannot have the chance to get, a, to get away with uh, what they are basically sexually Pastor at uh, this boy's home down at Woodbridge. Uh, got away with it basically because he died, he, the housemaster died uh, before he was able to be brought to care of justice. Uh, but uh, basically uh, what we're saying, what I'm saying here is that uh, the, the Lloyd Masters should not get away with this guy um, who thinks he has it. I was actually one of the uh, boys in in the home at the time, back in the 1970s, which was some 43 years ago. Um, many of these victims are still carrying the painful memory with us and having in front court and uh, knowing that he is not getting away with it anymore is basically going to help us a lot. Um, I saw this well, well some of, of it from the police part, police part, so the police part, I'll put it details which include uh, giving his name and all that. Um, I also took, uh, this is the letter that I have to try to get the back, I'll try to put my email to it. This letter is from one of the, one of the victims who was only aged at the time of my abuse by Lord Masters, so uh, I was only 10 years, 10 years of age at the time. Uh, and I don't believe that uh, Masters should get away with sexually abusing and the rape of my Masters that I received. Um, yeah, I'm putting this picture up, it's a smoking box to get back, because I'm just going to explain it to you, I'm going to put on the same face this time. Um, but yes, what I went through as a child uh, of a modern sexual abuse by Lord Master and also by another housemaster of the boy came from the front court. He was traveling, uh, traveling to Bridges in the fact that they were never tried. They were not, they were believed in other victims also going forward in the state of it. They were, none of us were believed by police. Or the boss of the department 